Welcome back to The Witcher 3. We've just sailed north of Unvik and arrived at the island of Svorlog. The main reason being to help out Saris, who came to this island a little while ago trying to cure somebody's curse, and Croc was worried about her and wanted us to help her. And the other reason is just to see if we can do some more quests around the Skellige Isles before I leave this place. And there's a notice board up here, so let's see if there are some other things we can do on this island. New marker, and new quests. And there we go. Here comes the groom. Any others? Okay, so we got one new quest. Cool. Let's go talk to Ulderic. Oh, actually, let's take a stop in the tavern first. Even grown-ups fear him? Exactly. Or the maid. What you deaf? You've had enough. Who the fuck are you to tell me what I'm to do? Yours made you king while I was pissing. I don't rule the isles, but I do rule this tavern. Calm down. I'll toss you out mug first. What do you want from me? Shiver at the Hey, stranger. Looking for some entertainment? Want a drink? What kind of entertainment you got in mind? What? Why beer, mead, and strong spirits? What do you expect in a tavern? Jump rope? <laughs> I don't know where you're from, but I can see it's far off. The Brockvar clan. Can you tell me about it? We from the Brockvar clan are masters of the sea, bred and born to the water. Thought everyone in Skellige spent a lot of time in the water. <laughs> they think so too. But all they do is skim the top of it in their long ships, all wrapped up in heavy furs. From time to time, the wind blows a bit of spray from the oars in their faces. That's their only contact with water. Whereas our boys, as soon as they can walk, dive off cliffs into the very depths of the sea. That sounds extremely dangerous. Show me what you have in stock. Aha, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Some Gwen cards. <laughs> There's even an Ice Giant card. How appropriate. Take care. You see the bulls this year? Fancy trying to hunt one down. Did you sever his head? Head of a giant. Oh, thank you, GPS. Just have me come around the back of this place. There isn't a freaking door here. Should have listened to my instincts, which said that there's a door right about here. be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I say something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Um, forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. 
Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? He didn't seem too alarmed after that blood curdling scream. It sounded like he was cutting his arm off or something as part of the sacrifice. Because the gods directed him. He said that voice commanded him to dive into the maelstrom. Too bad they didn't. All right, well, let's ask around. Eh? Am I easy's got? What can I do for you, traveler? Can you trim my hair? Way it is now, it gets in my eyes. Uh, actually, no, my hair's fine. I just wanted to see if you'd say anything about Ceres. So long. Let's go back to the tavern guy. Hey. Nope, nothing there. Take care. Well, what is it? Courage and the strength to slay Morkvar. Lies. He didn't leave that shit. Hey. Pardon. I'm looking. Busy here, can't you see? There ain't no mechanism. Hey. Watch who you cross. Sarah struck in for a visit. Oh, we're talking about Sarah. Stone Crate's daughter. She come for a reason, or just to visit? I don't know. Must have a matter to tend to. Mean you didn't ask her? Eh, hey, I'm not one to pull folk by their tongue. If they don't want to talk, they shouldn't. Ah, York, you're useless. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day, guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler, hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, yeah, you found her, or near to. Last was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They live toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Sarah's when you see her. I could have married a continental man. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Sarah's. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. Yeah, I didn't see what the point about asking him was. We know where to go, right? It still says I can ask about Saris in the village, but I guess we might as well just switch to the other thing and just go talk to Bergthora. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> lucky chap you are, then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Oh, she's plucking chickens. Going through them really fast. Like... Five, ten seconds per chicken. Okay, other side of the aisle, huh? Okay, and where's this quest, by the way? The contract I just got. Gotta talk to somebody in town. Let's go do that while we're still here. Only must 
don't know if that was the most efficient way. Nothing here for you. See you not from round here. What's brought ye to speaker, Rock? Wait, Speaker Rog? This place is Speaker Rog? I thought this place was Forlog. I'm confused now. Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung a notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. Sensing you just don't believe your sister. They had their ups, they had their downs. Nils, thoroughbred skirt chaser. And Brit's just not easy to be around. But family's sacred. You willing to look into this? I'll see what I can do. I want to talk to your sister first off. Britt and Nils had their favorite spot. Cliffs north of the village. Ever since he went missing, she's been wandering about there. Thanks. I'll go see her. Your ass was funny yet, hero. Yeah, might as well go speak with her over there along the way. Yeah, so... This whole place is not Svorlog. That's just the name of this town, I guess. I guess this whole place is Speakerog. Hmm. Okay. the caves on the shore, but he was alive, screaming my name. <laughs> I'll look into it. Gotta explore those caves Britt mentioned. Oh, those are really far away. Yeah, alright, well before we explore those caves, let's do the other quest and then maybe head over to check out this question mark and then go to here. So back onto possession. Let's go find Ceres. Or find Eirik, which then should lead us to Ceres. Aye, aye, hero. Oh. Looks like I need some help. Necrophage oil. around the waist heap. I be sure we showed him. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. <laughs> like I needed your warning, come on. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. 
for the love of Freya. All right, have it your way. You saved me, now what? What, need I march around the country singing in your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the Sea Devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Think for a minute. If not for the Jarl, would I know to look for her here? Ah, right. So it's like the Jarl himself sent you. Should have said so at the start. She asked about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Yeah, so so she's trying to track down the lineage of the guy. Trying to figure out exactly what's going on with the curse. Where it came from, how to cure it. Can I get to the top of that mountain? Oh my god, I want to get to the top of that mountain. I want to get to the top of that mountain right now. And see the sunset. <gasps> Can I do that, please? I really want to do that. <gasps> yeah, okay. Let's see if we can do that quickly before the sun sets. Quickly get to the top of the mountain. Go, 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 go. God, I don't think there's time. I don't think there's time. The sun's already, like, almost gone. Don't know if I'm gonna make it, but... This is pretty enough. Also, there's a place of power behind me, apparently. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Got two ability points to spend. Alright, can we get to the top? Well, I tried getting to the top of that mighty mountain, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't, it was just too steep from this side to be able to get up there. Maybe you can do it from the other side. But for now, we have a house to examine. Damn, something seriously wrong here. Hmm, spectral noises, mysterious black goop. I would say... This place has been so mud. Fresh footprints could be Ceres's. Key to get in the cellar. If it's locked, there's got to be something good down there. There's the key. Saris. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelric. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? 
Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skelligan. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udalric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udalric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udalric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udalric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udalric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. You know, I kind of wish that it wasn't me doing all the work here. Because Ceres... Like, it's... She is... She put her, her hat into the ring, so to speak. To be the next ruler. And that surprised everybody. Because she's a woman. And then she set off to do this. Um, I, I think she set off to do this to try to kind of prove herself, right? I think. And then I come in here and I'm and she's passed out half dead and I rescue her, take her out, and then just say, just sit outside and I'll go do the work. Like, I, I want to see her do something cool. It feels kind of lame that I just come in here, swoop in, and then just do all the work myself. I want to see her show all those guys that she's awesome. Because she probably is. the key to this, don't I? There we go. It's weird. The, the jewel tip showed up before, said E to unlock, but it didn't actually do anything. Okay, hold on. Let's take some cat. This place is creepy. There we go. 
Let's preemptively put Spectre Oil on my sword. Undoubtedly, we're gonna have to fight a Spectre. Oh, hi. What is this about? Get rid of cat, take some white gold. Or white honey, I mean. So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. You and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Now here's a manly one. Not like my good friend up in Sven. Hey! Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean? Let me. Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well... Maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? 
Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Look at sword. You're back. Adventure seeker. How long ago was it that his brother died? Would the ring really still be there? Wouldn't the body have just... rotted away to the point where there's nothing but bone left? And obviously a ring wouldn't stay on a bony hand, it would just... fall away, get covered in silt. I'm assuming I have to go underwater, right? Probably. So let's take some killer whale. Maybe turn around, girl. Oh, somehow you killed it. I think he was somehow shooting behind himself. Cool, I'll take it. Sword is in the skeleton's hands. Can't help wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udalric. This seems too simple. I feel like we're gonna get back there and there's gonna be something very wrong. That that's not the end of this. You know what? There's treasure here. What the hell? quest. The crooked mast marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. Crooked mast. Must be this. Whoa, oh my god! <laughs> that roll. I didn't know you could roll straight up the pole.
Look at that. Cool. Some decent stuff to sell. Okay, back on possession. Something I've always wondered. What did you wish? Ah, my steel sword. No, silver sword is almost broken. Sixty-one, eighty something. There we go. Hundred percent. No yep, I knew it. Knew it could not have been that simple. What is this? Ulrich. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. God damn what? it. Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Can we just tie him up until we've solved this? What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come.
Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Hmm. And what about the other method? Trying to trick the Heim sounds nearly impossible. That sounds almost impossible. I mean, if we're to make one of us... Like, I don't know if the plan is to make one of us, either Saris or Geralt, feel guilty. But given that we've already talked about it, I mean, surely we would suspect anything that makes us sound guilty is probably not actually true, so we wouldn't truly feel guilty, because we would just suspect it's the other one just making up a plan to trick the Heim. I guess maybe it could work on somebody else, though, but what would you do? Not to mention, that would be so horrible for that person. You'd... You'd probably traumatize them. Because they need to truly believe that they did something absolutely horrible, something vile. And they would also be temporarily possessed by a Heim. They would probably be really traumatized after that. Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. Fine. But what's with Ceres and Yennefer? She's not... jealous, is she? What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger. A brave knight or a tough witcher, you all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name's not Yennefer, no one will call you henpecked for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, 
We can still do it your way. Fine. Let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Meet you there. Got something to tend to on the way. Fine. See you. I'm glad that it turned out that she, at least as far as I can tell, isn't jealous of Yennefer. Because that would have just been... Just <laughs> sickeningly... Cheesy. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to spend my two skill points and go try to defeat the Hymn.